Hi, I'm Deborah Singupta Stith from the Austin American Statesman and Austin360.com, and we are so happy to be here today with Mayor Lee Leffingwell. So Glad to be thank here. Thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah, sure. So, um, you said that you didn't make it out last weekend, but you're here this weekend. Yes. You've got some friends from town. What do you think that coming to the, this festival shows people about Austin? Well, uh, you know, it, it's such a big attraction. All these people come from out of town, and it's kind of a, almost a disadvantage to live in Austin because you always get a lot of guests during ACL. Mm -hmm. And that's what I had. I had uh, my, uh, my daughter and my son, and I had uh, a bunch of grandkids. So who are you excited about uh, seeing? Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know all the names of the bands. I've never been the, uh, I've never been one to remember all the names of the right, bands right. and the songs. I just uh, uh, enjoy the ambience. We were trying to figure out if you're more of an outcast man or a Beck man. You know, I'm more of a, 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 a country western type guy, and I know they oh. don't have too much of that right yeah, here, but right. this kind of broadens my scope here. Good, good. Yeah. Who are your kids excited about? You oh, <laughs> it's hard to keep track of them all. It's hard I know. To get track. Yeah. Is there anything else about uh, the festival that you like to show people when they come from out of town? Well, uh, about the festival itself. You know, it, it's an experience in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, getting here can be an experience. Right. And, and so. Did you take a pedicab? Yeah. Uh, the I did not take a. <laughs> I did not take a Batmobile or a pedicab. Mm -hmm. And I came here in a car. I was right. fortunate enough to be able to get through the lines and get here. Right. And um, I know that your mayoral powers don't necessarily give you any precondition or anything, but do you have any thoughts who's going to win UT versus OU next week or well, tomorrow? Well, obviously, I think Texas is going to win. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be another October miracle like we had last year, you remember? Right, right. And nobody thought we were going to win, but we did. Yeah, you think so? Are so, you going to come and try to watch it in the beer tent? I hear a lot of people <laughs> do that. I may do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I certainly want to keep up with it. And um, is there anything else that you're trying to do? I know your term is winding down. Is this part of the beginning of your celebrations? I, you know, I'm trying to wind down. I've been trying to wind down for about six months, mm -hmm. but things, you know, business goes on and right. we are going to be going till the last minute. Right. And as you know, we got an important election right. coming up on November 4th. and. There's one particular item that I have a major interest in, right? And that is the uh, proposition for transportation. And so, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I've been a big supporter for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, have actually led the group that did the study for the last two years to put together a package uh, to put on the ballot for voters. It's a combination of a first phase of an urban rail, and, and also has about four hundred million dollars worth of road projects in it. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'll be easier to get to ACL and other events right. if we can do some of this. <laughs> That's such a nice tie-in, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk to us. I really yeah. appreciate it. You're very welcome.